Hola y'all, it's Jess to show you how to make excellent award-winning deer chili. Took two pounds of ground deer meat and put it into a heavy bottomed pan or a pot. And I'm gonna turn on the heat and I'm going to brown my meat and let it get cooked thoroughly. One of the things that I think people have a tendency to forget is that chili can actually be a very healthy thing to eat. Especially deer chili because deer in and of itself is incredibly lean and packed full of flavor. And if you know how to do it right, it's delicious. I'm just gonna be browning these two pounds of lean ground deer meat. Once the meat has been completely browned, then I'm gonna start adding my seasonings. Okay, so our meat is completely browned and it's time to start adding my seasonings. So the first thing I'm gonna add is my chili powder. And one thing that's great about adding your seasonings right after you've browned your meat, but not when you've had any liquid, is that when these seasonings hit the meat and the heat and the bottom of that pan without any liquid to dilute it in any way, they really warm up. You can start to smell them instantly. And I don't know, they just seem to, their flavor just seems to come out even more. If you just give them a moment to really get worked into your meat before you start adding your tomato sauce and all your liquids that you need. Okay, instantly I get this wonderful aroma. I love chili powder. Okay, that looks good. Now I wanna kinda move a little bit quicker. So I'm gonna add my paprika. The recipe is on the blog. We have a tablespoon each of the garlic powder and the onion powder. So I'm gonna add that. And when I add that garlic powder, I'm gonna move quickly because it has a tendency to burn. A half a tablespoon of beef powder. Now you can use beef bouillon, but I prefer beef powder. This stuff is amazing. It just creates this depth of flavor when you don't have time to let it sit on the stove and simmer for hours upon hours. That one ingredient gives the flavor as if that's exactly what it's been doing, sitting on the stove for hours and hours. I'm gonna let this simmer for about 20 minutes. It's gonna be ready to go after we flavored and added all of our seasonings. The next ingredient is one of my all-time favorite ingredients because I'm Southern, I'm from Louisiana, Cajun country right here. Tony Sasseries, this is Cajun salt, seasoning salt. You can use whatever seasoning salt that you like or you can simply use salt and pepper if that's what you choose to do. But I'm telling you nothing imparts flavor quite like Tony's. Just, just don't take my word for it. Go buy some and see for yourself, okay? Okay, now I'm gonna add two eight ounce cans of tomato sauce right in. And then one can of Rotel, and depending on how spicy you like your chili, you can get the hot Rotel, the mild, or just the regular. I prefer just the regular, which already has a decent level of spice. We're gonna pour it right in. Give that a good mix, a good stir. Turn my heat down just a touch. I do not want this to burn. My stove has a tendency to get really, really hot. All right, I'm gonna add two tablespoons of ketchup. We love Heinz. One, two. The sweetness of the ketchup just helps to cut through the acidity of all those canned tomato products. A lot of times people will add a pinch of sugar, but I prefer to add the ketchup. It already has the sugar in it, and I get even more of that great tomato-y flavor. And last, but certainly not least, I'm gonna add two and a half cups of water, give it a good stir, put a lid on it. I'm gonna simmer it for 20 minutes. Then I'm gonna show you how we're gonna make our chili dogs. Okay, my chili has been simmering away for about 20 minutes. It smells delicious, amazing. 
and that's it. It's done. And I'm telling you, this is such a great thing. It's wonderful for meal prep. It is super nutritious. It's actually healthier than you may be thinking. And it's great for watching your calories, getting some protein in. You can use it for so many things. I made a double batch of this chili because tomorrow night I'm gonna bake some potatoes and we're gonna have chili topped baked potatoes. You can eat it with crackers. You can eat um, a chili Fredo pie. But personally for us, we are gonna have chili dogs tonight. And I was just gonna show you, I got the Oscar Mayer turkey be more calorie friendly and fat friendly. And I like to put them in, if it's not the season where I'm grilling hot dogs out by the pool and it's a school night, so I really don't wanna do a bonfire and roast them, although both of those ways are excellent and delicious. But I'm just gonna take my hot dogs, my turkey dogs, and I'm gonna put them in the chili to let them heat all the way through and get some of that delicious flavor because they're going on a chili dog anyway. I'm gonna put them right in. I'm super excited for this meal because who doesn't love a great chili dog? I hope you enjoy. Make sure you hit subscribe and come back for even more delicious food that is healthy, tasty, and of course, I'm gonna throw in some deer. Adios.